Namaste. Welcome to Geeta's Kitchen. In today's video, it is not a cooking recipe, but I am going to introduce you to something which I have seen recently. Usually, in our Indian style of cooking, we use a number of uh, flours, dry powders, masalas. And earlier on, we used to go to the mill and get it ground, whether it is wheat or rice or basin, that is gram flour, or even to grind your millets if you want to grind ragi into a powder. We used to go to the mill and get it ground. But uh, nowadays, in cities, mills are becoming really quite rare. Sometimes they are far off, and especially for elderly people, it is uh, even difficult to access, go and you know, stand there and get the work done. And especially for domestic use, when we want to grind smaller quantities, say 1 kg to 2 kgs of flour, sometimes the mill uh, people, they refuse to grind small quantities too. And then we have to get the packets from the supermarkets directly. But there also sometimes uh, we don't get the quality that we want. So if we want to grind it in a way that we are sure of the quality and grind it at home by ourselves, then this uh, product I found it uh, to be quite convenient. I have been recently introduced to this uh, Cookwell Insta Grind Masala Grinder and um, let me show it to you all the parts. This is the box with which it comes. In the box we have this uh, mixi which is which can easily go on the countertop and it is not too heavy and here it has the socket is like this which you can easily plug in like any other regular mixi. Next there is one more box. In this box is this uh, special attachment for the masala grinder. This also is not very heavy. And see, it is just like any of the regular mixer jars which we attach to our mixi, which you can just easily fit in like this. See that this gasket is in place, and this is the blade which does the grinding for your flowers. Also, there is another small steel box kind of thing which we fit here, and this also has got two gaskets which we fit like this. They have provided four sets of meshes for different grinding. This is for grinding the rice and wheat when you want fine flour. This is for a slightly coarser one say when you are grinding chilies or coriander. And here some more for grinding. A slightly more coarse for puttu etc. Or idiapam flour you can use according to your requirement. See this mesh comes in two halves like this and it is written here this side up. So we just have to fit it over here like this, the central portion. We just keep it in the center like this. Similarly the other half also you place like this. See, now see that they are aligned to form a complete circle like this. See these four clips kind of thing here. We just place this box, press this box here. So it is secured with these clips. They have also provided a container to collect the flour. And there is a bag here. You would have seen in flour mills how they fix a bag here. So this is the uh, opening through which the ground flour comes out. So you fit the bag onto it like this. You place it in. So that the ground flour can fall into this. We have also provided a scoop for taking out the grains and putting it into the hopper. And uh, they have provided a brush so that we can just uh, you know remove the flour or clean this. And this is another spatula. This is the cover or hopper which is placed on top of it like this. It is secured in place with this clips you will find four clips two on either side so you have to fit them together there is one more box where they have given these three jars one dry grinding jar a wet grinding jar 
and also one more uh, chutney jar now this chutney jar is got quite a large size chutney jar and two extra blades this is for grating or mincing and one vapor blade we also get a booklet along with it and it is in uh, different languages you have in hindi uh, kannada english malayalam tamil kannada and marathi and it also there is a warranty card it you have one year warranty for this product and it shows the instruction how to fit the flour mill attachment and the four different sieves they have provided for this first i'll show you different uh, grains how i ground in this and i'll give you all the details how you can get this if you are interested both in the description since it is only for our home use they are given a scoop like this and they tell that we can put four scoops at a time now before you start once you put on the main switch you can see here one two three three positions so they first tell to run it at position 3 for about half a minute and then you start adding the grains similarly once you once you add the grain here it will get ground and deceived and collect here from here it comes and falls into this uh, once this all the grains have gone into this you wait again for another half minute and then bring it back to zero so shall we start now switch it on now let's open it and see it took just about less than 2 minutes see the ragi has been ground really fine and here there is really not much of a residue left very little now you can just <coughs> see using this brush you can just push down all these portions you can see the ragi flour has collected here see we have cleared out all the flour from here and collected it in this see i have transferred the ra ground ragi the fine ragi flour to this bowl now we are next i will grind some rice and show you today i am just showing a little bit so you can put four scoops when everything goes down you can add a, again add another four scoops and grind but don't overfull it see the rice has been ground to a nice fine powder and have a look inside also there's not much of residue left here. it has been ground very fine see our rice flour is uh, ground and ready next we are ready to grind some wheat also see i put about half kg of wheat and we have got the flour collected here just transfer it here and show you see pure fresh unadulterated wheat flour it's a joy to make chapatis out of this and you can see just a little bit of bran over here 
but this also is high fiber so i would advise you not to waste this either so when you want to remove just press the clip and you can remove this top portion now that we have taken out the flour the remaining bran we can separate it by removing this carefully See, I showed you how to remove it and clean because sometimes for certain preparations let us say we want to grind rice flour when we go to the mill also we are particular that no wheat flour should have been ground before because then that preparation might uh, get spoiled so every time you can remove this so that you are sure that it is again very clean for grinding your next product another product which we regularly use both South Indian and North Indian cooking is gram flour or basin so that also you can make in a very hygienic way at home even a small quantity you can make see here i have some chana dal so Let's check our gram flour basin, super fine basin, freshly ground, just very little in this sieve, rest on here we have got the fine basin. See even if you put a small quantity, it grinds it very well. This is fine basin, if you want little more granular for certain dishes, then you just have to change the sieve and put a different sieve, that's all. So our gram flour is ready. Similarly, you can grind other pulses and grains or whole moong or other things also. Now I will show you how to grind some of the spices which we use in our everyday cooking. See here I have some coriander seeds. Whenever you grind either spices for dal or chilies, it is always recommended to dry it out in the sun very well and then grind to get a fine powder. I have changed the sieve. I have now placed this sieve for the coriander seeds. The coriander seeds ground so fine. A little bit of the coarse powder here on the seed. See, we have collected all the dhania powder here. Now, next we will wonder how to grind dry red chilies. Red chilo is also dry them very well in the sun. They should be really crisp like this. If we put them into this hopper. See this hole is very small for the chilies to go through. That's why they are given us this jar also. So first we will put the chilies into this jar. We will just fit it on like any mixy jar. I run the mixy just for a minute so that the chilies get crushed to like chili flake size. So these are ground chilies. I am allergic. I start coughing. So I will wear a mask before opening this. Yes. See now we have crushed it to size of chili flakes. Now we can put it into this masala grinder. open this and see how our chilies have been ground <coughs> you see this 
perfect ground fine chilli powder just as you like the ones you get in the packets in the supermarkets what we buy so just a little bit of this coarse powder here see fine chilli powder ready for you so even after grinding such a wide variety the question uppermost in every indian housewife's mind is will it grind turmeric that is haldi so let's check that out also here i have some turmeric pieces so similarly this cannot go through this hole it is very small so just as we did for the chilies we are going to first grind it into smaller pieces in this jar and then transfer here we have made it into a coarse powder here let's see the haldi powder also silky smooth haldi powder this is also actually quite fine you can use this too see or haldi or turmeric powder perfectly ground when you have completed all your grinding see they have provided a place to wind your cord and keep like this so i have shared my experience it was very very satisfying grinding all these uh, flowers at home we get perfect hygienic quality and especially for i would say it is more suitable for smaller families where we need small quantities of flour so they recommend not to grind more than 2 kg in a day because this is for domestic uh, use only you can just grind small quantities keep it if you store large quantities also sometimes they get insects and difficult to store so you can make fresh as and when you want So here is our ragi flour, wheat flour, gram flour that is besan, uh, coriander seed, dhania powder, haldi or turmeric powder, chilli powder, and rice flour. And the possibilities are endless. You can use it to grind your garam masala, chai masala, all other regular masalas which you use at home, dhania jeera powder. or your uh, other masalas which we use idli chutney powder which we use for idli chilli powder so many many things everything which you use and all the recipes for homemade powders you will find on my channel you just go to homemade powders on my playlist so any in a homemade powder you can use it for the rasam powder everything you can make here see i have shown you one uh, homemade uh, multi purpose masala which we can use for sambar rasam with kolambu so many other dishes south indian dishes so you can keep all the ingredients ready dry it out in the sun and then grind your fresh masala at home as much as required these mixing jars can be used for as your regular mixing jars for your dry grinding purposes for your wet grinding for your idli dosa vada and also for making your uh, chutneys or any small quantity of dry powders also in this so i was uh, really happy with this experience i found it is very good and very simple and easy to clean and maintain to all these can be washed just like how we wash a usual mixer jar after use wipe this with a dry cloth wipe it clean and you are uh, all set to go now here are answers to some of the uh, common faqs which i expect at the end of this video where did i purchase this I got it from Gen Power. So I'll give you the details. It is in Coimbatore. I'll give you the complete address details and also the phone number and WhatsApp number. You can contact them directly. Number two, uh, will it? Will they courier it to me? I stay somewhere else in India. Definitely, they will courier it to you. You can WhatsApp them and they will get in touch with you. Then, uh, will they courier it abroad? Yes, they do ship it abroad also. the shipping charges will apply accordingly and uh, one more thing many people will ask madam can we get this portion alone so that we can fit it to our mixer no you cannot get that alone because the 
voltage and the RPM of this motor is different. It is just suitable for this particular uh, Insta grind flour mill only. So you will have to take it as one unit. And then the most important question: What is the price? Uh, the MRP is eight nine nine five. You will get it at a discounted price of six four double zero. That is six thousand four hundred rupees. Any other questions, clarifications, doubts you have, please contact the WhatsApp or the telephone numbers given on the video and also in the description box and uh, they will answer all your queries. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to Geeta's Kitchen and we will meet again with an interesting video from Geeta's Kitchen. Thank you.